Officials in Florida are still searching a wooded area near Orlando. The remains of a small child found on Thursday are being analyzed to see if it is the body of missing three-year-old Kaylee Anthony. Joining us is criminal profiler Pat Brown and Kathy Reichs, a forensic anthropologist who is a member of Casey Anthony's defense team. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Ms. Reichs, let me start with you. Assuming this is the little girl in question, what information could they find that might help exonerate your client? Well, right now, we just want to be able to see everything that's available to the prosecution. Our team has a forensic entomologist who's going to be looking at the bugs and trace evidence. We have a forensic pathologist, Dr. Werner Spitz, and myself, I'm a forensic anthropologist. I'll be looking at the remains. We don't know at this point exactly what condition those remains are in. We don't know if there's a relatively well-preserved body, that's doubtful, or if it's a fully skeletonized set of remains. Mm -hmm. So we've just put together a team and we would like to and we're getting very little access we're getting no access at this point hmm. either to the remains or to the scene itself right. and we would just like to be there as independent observers to be seeing Is with that our eyes. Would that be normal procedure or would the, or the local prosecutors want to at least get a positive ID first? Well they want to get a positive ID of course uh, which they're going to be doing through DNA but I've only served as a defense expert twice in my entire career, but on both of those occasions, we didn't meet this kind of resistance. We were allowed access. Mm. Um, of course, they're not going to be our best friends, okay. but um, this is a bit more resistance right. than I'm used to seeing. All right, let's talk about this a little bit here sure. in the studio, Pat. These remains are found. They're in right. garbage bag, duct tape. Right. This is place has been underwater for some time and already. That's, that's the big problem. Yeah, well, that really is. Well, the, you know, anytime you have water at a, at a scene, it just really destroys evidence. It first of all it helps the decomposition proceed mm -hmm. quickly, mm -hmm. and then everything gets wiped away. Uh, yeah, Literally it, washed it, it, away. Really washed, really, yeah. washed away, and it's underwater, so it just it's just it's a disaster. Mm -hmm. And so what people are thinking, oh, but there's trash bags and there's duct tape, right. so this is going to be great. But mm -hmm. we're saying, okay, you got a piece of duct tape. It's been underneath that water for you know, months and months. Right. And uh, yes, duct tape is great because, you know, one because of hasn't it been used in a, in a prosecution or at least in a defense that whatever the, right. what do they call the styrations well, well, or the, the method of making the bag correct. was traceable to some other lot that was found in a house? Now, that depends. Now, if you take some of the trash bags, when you, you have to rip them off, mm -hmm. And the, the, the cheaper ones, essentially. Then they will have a striation pattern that goes all the way through the whole right. roll. But here's the problem. It's been months. People use trash bags pretty regularly. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you ripped it off and used it in the crime, chances are six months later you're not going to have that, that exact box. box. Right. And the next box, all you can say is, oh, they, they bought the same brand. But, I mean, everybody buys the same brand, everybody mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. Right. The other problem is some of these actually don't have... They're not actually connected. They're separate bags. Oh, sure. The fancier ones, so that's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Now, here's this one of the reasons I brought this one along. This is the lawn and leaf bag. Right. The hope is that this bag, it would be one of these, one of the bigger ones, because mm -hmm. you might keep this in your garage, not use it on a daily basis. So right. you can hope that this might be, be still there. Right. right. And the duct tape, you know, this is great stuff. It gets fingerprints. Mm -hmm. You get your hair, hair stuck on it, fibers, and you're in a rush, so you might leave things. Right. You sometimes tear it with your teeth because you just simply can't get it torn. Sure. Um, and then you can have even saliva. Mm. But how about that water? Mm. It's probably going to destroy everything on there. All right. Pat Brown, thank you so much. Kathy Thanks, Rice, Harry. thank you very much as well.